Hey guys, I'm here at Epcot today. Let's go check out Ellen's Energy Adventure. I saw some pictures of this that they drained the Universe of Energy pool. And wow, that looks so different than it did last week. This closed exactly a week ago. I tell you what, there is a lot of change about to happen to Future World here in the coming years. That is turning into a Guardians of the Galaxy ride. That is probably going to turn into the Mission Space restaurant. Mission Space just opened up a new, less intense, green Earth uh, part of their ride, as opposed to the orange Mars part of the ride. Uh, and then everything over here that's getting torn down. Also, <coughs> goodness gracious, uh, I want to check out the uh, Halloween decorations or anything Halloween here because I went to studios a couple days ago and I saw their Halloween stuff up there in the window so I want to see if there's anything here. So I don't know about decorations, but there's plenty of Halloween merchandise to start the season, that's for sure. So if you check out the Project Blue Sky concept art that was released at D23 last month, you're going to see that all of this in Future World is slated to go away at one point or another in the coming years. Everything, everything from interventions to mouse gear to Starbucks to Club Cool to, I don't know, everything. Colortopia character spot, it is all going away and being replaced with greenery and water fountains, and who knows what else. So there are some booths up in the World Showcase for food and wine, but nothing here yet for food and wine. This is some more construction over here for food and wine, which begins August 31st and runs until November 13th. I believe that is the longest food and wine in history. One of the more notable changes coming from Project Blue Sky at Epcot is the Fountain of Nations all the way down there is gonna be moved pretty much right up against the, uh, the, the monorail beam right here. Uh, I don't know what's gonna happen past that, uh, but then everything beyond that is just going to be turned into just kind of an open area. Just kind of all the buildings that are there are gone. You can see there are plenty of kiosks all up and ready to go for food and wine starting in a week. Right over here, this is Port of Entry. This is where you can load up a gift card to use for your transactions at Food & Wine instead of pulling out a credit card or cash for every single thing you buy. Which is of course so much more convenient and makes you spend a lot more. So I came to Epcot to check out the status of Ellen's energy adventure over in Future World because going over to studios and seeing uh, all of the new attractions, signage that they put up at the great movie ride for Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway, I wanted to see what they did over there. They haven't done anything at all, uh, so you can kind of see which one's going to be more expedited, I guess. But I am also on my way over to France because Brennan has been feeling a little bit under the weather, so I want to grab her a little sweet treat in hopes that she feels better soon. Now that all the local counties are back in school, it is a little bit quieter here at Epcot today, which is something I like a lot. So right between France and the UK is Epcot's International Gateway. This is where the Epcot resort guests, they can enter into the park right over there from a special security entrance. 
right on the other side of that security entrance is the yet to be built Disney Skyliner gondola transportation system that is going to be connecting I believe Pop Century, Art of Animation, the yet to be built uh, Riviera Resort and then the Caribbean Beach Resort connecting Epcot and Hollywood Studios. All right that's where I just was I wanted to move over here to give you guys a little bit better view they do have the walls up and that is where the Skyliner is gonna go right over there and I am very excited about it I loved the Skyway back when I was a ride at Disney a long time ago I liked the uh, the Sky Ride at Busch Gardens so this should be fun too okay I'm in France I'm gonna go grab my little sweet treat for Brennan Uh oh, it's starting to rain. So I made a boo-boo. Uh, I meant to say that I'm going to Japan because the sweet treat that I wanted uh, is mochi. And that's at Japan. That is not at France. I think it's because I always get the macaroons at France, which is why I just naturally went there. But this whole time I've been thinking mac... Uh, there I go again. Mochi. I want mochi, not macaroons. This is where the Ratatouille ride was speculated to go, but I'm pretty positive that it is just going to be for food and wine, at least for now. It is still kind of confusing where the Ratatouille ride is going to go, but somewhere back there, I think. This is where the Ferrucci is going to go. Yay! I finally got it. I got in line and the line was like really, really long. So I went to a different register where there were only two people in line and there were two registers, but each of those people were buying like 45 different things. And so then I waited like 15 minutes and then I finally got my one little thing of mochi. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and head out before it starts raining. <laughs> say that that is it for my trip today here to Epcot to check out uh, the Universe of Energy to see if there's any Halloween decorations. There aren't. Uh, to kind of see some of the food and wine preparations for next week. I didn't get to go around the other side of the World Showcase. Uh, but I just wanted to dip in, dip out today, get my mochi, and then head on home. So I will see you guys later. Maybe with another little quick little video. Cheers. <laughs>